Coral reefs are, are very important natural resources, not just to certain states in our own country, but also to other developing nations. My name is Justin Reese, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Marine Sciences. We're working in various aspects, looking at the effects of climate change and ocean acidification on coral reef growth. Our overarching goal with the research was to obtain 100-year records of coral growth across the face of one of the largest barrier reefs in the world. We went to Southern Belize to try to understand what changes have occurred on reef systems. My name is Carl Castillo and I'm a postdoctoral research associate here in the Marine Sciences Department. Corals, much like old growth trees, record in their skeleton their life history. Our objective was to use a drill, drill into these very old corals. And they provide a lot of information. They can tell you how quickly they grew in a given year, what the pollution levels were in a given year, what the temperatures were. And by comparing these past temperatures and past pollution levels, we can reconstruct a relationship between growth and environmental stress. Each core took about half an hour of drilling. Because we're drilling underwater, the only kind of drill that you can run underwater is one powered by air. So we would hook up scuba tanks uh, filled with compressed air. Once we collect the samples from the reef and ship them back, we have to go through uh, several steps of preparing them. What we have to do is run the cores through a what looks like a tile cutting saw. Each of these bright, high density, and low density bands corresponds to one year of annual growth. The research shows that on a large portion of the reef, calcification rates and growth rates have declined drastically over the last 100 years, which does not bode well. Organisms need to spawn in these areas, they need to hide from predators in these areas. That is why these reefs are so important to the survival of the entire coastal ecosystem in these areas. We're not sure that climate change is the reason we are seeing the decline in growth rate. So we are trying to see if that is the case with you know, further studies that we plan to do in the next uh, few months. We do know that the Earth has been warming over the last century and surface seawater has been warming as well. And over that same interval, growth rates in the four reef corals have been declining. Whether those two observations are causal or coincidental, we're still trying to to investigate that. Well, I actually grew up in southern Belize. As a kid, my, um, my stepfather took me out to the reefs, and I, you know, I was particularly interested and excited about that. Carl uh, put together the logistics and planned out the study. He knew exactly where we could uh, sample. His familiarity with this region allowed us to come up with a, the most efficient study design. It's really exciting. I like that um, I have the opportunity to go back into the elementary schools in Belize, go back to the University of Belize and you know, share the information and the knowledge that I've gained with you know, the people in my community.